Finally, the last kind of reaction we are going to study uh, prior to, uh, next to which or after which we are going to directly move to chemical properties of ethanol and ethanoic acid is the esterification reaction. Okay, although again, it's not mentioned, it's just, you know, explained in the chemical properties of ethanoic acid, but I want to take it up as a separate topic because it is pretty vast. So esterification reaction. This reaction basically, as the name suggests, is the formation of an ester. Now, ester is a kind of organic compound, okay, which we'll discuss about a bit more in just a minute. So esterification reaction is basically a reaction between a carboxylic acid and an alcohol to form an ester, okay? So it is the reaction between a carboxylic acid, the reaction between a carboxylic acid and an alcohol and an alcohol to form an ester. To form an ester okay so basically a carboxylic acid reacts with an alcohol in the presence of hot acidic medium usually hot conk h2so4 and it forms an ester right now ester is basically a kind of functional group it ester is basically a compound which contains the functional group c double bond o o okay c double bond o O and then some alkyl group here and then some alkyl group here. R usually denotes alkyl group, right? As I've told you what alkyl means before in IUPAC nomenclature. So usually when an alkyl group bonded to a carbon, double bonded to an oxygen, then bonded to an oxygen, then bonded to an alkyl group. So basically this functional group here, right? This is what we call an ester group. Okay, so whenever we have this kind of S, this kind of you know group ester group then we say that compound is an ester okay so the formation of this ester when a carboxylic acid reacts with an alcohol in the presence of an acidic medium is what we call as is what we call an esterification reaction so the most prominent example of an esterification reaction which is given in the textbook as well is the reaction between ethanol and ethanoic acid so let's take that example you know ethanol, ethanol has the formula C2H5OH. I'm going to explain it with the structural formula because then you can understand the mechanism as well. The point behind organic reactions is that you can understand a mechanism, a general mechanism. So when you're able to understand that mechanism, that order, that process, then you'll be able to predict the products of any kind of reaction. So let's have a look at that reaction, ethanol. Now, you know, ethanol structure can be denoted like this. There is CH3, okay? bonded to a carbon, CH2, and then OH. This is ethanol, right? Now, ethanol reacts with your uh, carboxylic acid. So, let's take the carboxylic acid, ethanoic acid. At that time, it will be CH3. C double bond O, OH. Okay, this is your ethanoic acid. Now, these two are going to react in the presence of hot conch H2SO4. This will be hot concentrated H2SO4. Okay, so they're going to react in that, in the presence of that acidic medium, which will be caused because of this. And as a result, you will get what? Let's see. Basically, what will happen is that in this acidic medium, when esterification takes place, this will lose an OH group. Okay. This ethanol is going to lose an OH group. Whereas, okay, excuse me, not an OH group. It is going to lose a hydrogen. It is going to lose a hydrogen. Oh, excuse me, we were right what we were doing, sorry. OH, it's going to lose an OH group, okay? So this ethanol will lose its OH group, whereas this ethanoic acid is going to lose the hydrogen, this hydrogen. Okay, 
So basically, this ethanol will lose its OH group, whereas the ethanoic acid is going to lose this hydrogen which is attached to the oxygen. Okay. So what are the, uh, what are we going to get actually after the loss of these? You're going to get carbon bonded to a carbon. There'll be hydrogen here, hydrogen here. There'll be hydrogen here as well. There'll be hydrogen here as well. And there'll be hydrogen here as well. But there'll be a vacant bond, right? There will be a vacant bond because it has lost this OH, right? That's what we're going to get from this. That's what we're going to get from this. Next, from the ethanoic acid, when it loses this hydrogen, what are you going to get? You're going to get CH3. I've just compressed this whole thing as CH3, bonded with carbon double bond oxygen and then one oxygen and there is a vacant bond. Okay, so what is going to happen? This bond and this bond. So this bond and this bond. Let's, let me mark those bonds. This bond and this bond are vacant bonds. So these bonds are going to come together. Right? These bonds, this oxygen is going to bond to this carbon. So what is going to happen? Let's see. As a result, you will get carbon bonded to a carbon, but we always consider this first, okay? We always consider this CH3 first. So CH3 bonded to carbon, double bond oxygen, then oxygen, and then you are going to get bonded to this oxygen, another carbon, bonded to two hydrogen, and then un attached to another carbon, bonded to three hydrogen. So this is going to be your ester. Can you notice the ester? This is the ester. Okay, this is your ester. Right? And the name of this ester, this particular ester, which is formed as a, as a result of the reaction between ethanol and ethanoic acid, the name of this ester is ethyl ethanoate. Ethyl ethanoate. The naming of IUPC nomenclature of esters is not there in your course, so I'm not really touching it. But the name of this is ethyl ethanoate. Basically, this ethyl is composed of this. Okay. And then you can say these two carbons are from. Sorry. These two carbons are going to form the name for this eth. And then these two carbons are going to form the name for this eth. Okay, so again, just understand this, although it's not too important, but this eth has come from these two carbons and this eth has come from these two carbons. Okay, so the name is ethyl ethanoate, right? Understand this, that when ethanol reacts with ethanoic acid in the presence of hot concentrated H2SO4, it will form an ester with the name ethyl ethanoate and the formula CH3COOC2H5. This is the formula of ethyl ethanoate molecular formula of ethyl ethanoate now that's absolutely clear so this is the classic example given in the textbook for esterification reaction so i hope that's absolutely clear if there is any kind of doubt left in esterification reaction please leave it in the comment section below and with this we are done with your organic reactions we are complete with organic reactions we are done with the chemical properties now we're going to move on to the chemical properties of ethanol and ethanoic acid the two more most important compounds in your course so with that we'll be done for the chemical properties and then we have soap and detergent left so thank you very much for joining me uh we are done with organic reactions if you have any kind of doubt please leave them in the comment section below and i will definitely answer them whenever i can thank you very much goodbye stay healthy stay smart and do look up the next video Bye bye